tips for telling younger children about your diagnosis. Children's imaginations run wild without the right information. They're smart, curious, and ultimately know when something's wrong with mom or grandma, even if you don't tell them. That's why it's important to have a plan when telling your children about your breast cancer before they jump to conclusions. We're here with some tips on having that talk with your kids so they feel reassured and prepared. But first, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Breast Cancer Index, a test that may help women with ER positive, early stage breast cancer decide with their doctors whether to extend or end anti-hormonal therapy after five years. Most children are very observant, so it's important to explain breast cancer in an age-appropriate way that can be clearly understood. Think about the language you'll use to explain things like IVs, chemotherapy, biopsies, surgery, and mastectomy. You know your child better than anyone, so use the language they understand and help them stay on the same page. Next, be sure they know that cancer isn't their fault. Children tend to see themselves as the center of their worlds. If something goes wrong, they may think they're to blame. It's important to reinforce that nothing they did got mommy sick, nor can you spread cancer to anyone else. There are no good reasons why you have cancer, but you're here to get through it together. By answering these questions up front, you may help make way for other why questions. Chances are your child will ask you about dying. When responding, experts say it's best to explain death in clear terms without metaphors or overly gentle language. Don't be afraid to use the term death or dying. Confusing your children by substituting phrases like deep sleep can lead them to feel anxious when you're sleeping. This only confuses them. It helps to talk about what'll happen in the next few weeks and months so they understand the extent of your treatment. This is the first talk of many, but it may be best to explain that they're gonna meet new nurses and see mommy going to the doctor often, but this will only help you get better. Also, if you need help when talking to your child, there are many popular children's books written to help mothers explain their breast cancer. Books such as Mom and the Polka Dot Boo Boo or The Hope Tree can be good guides for introducing the topic to your child. And psychologists who specialize in helping families with cancer are an excellent resource. Finally, make sure your child knows they're loved at the end of the conversation. Let them know that despite some of the changes, you still love them no matter what. To get more practical tips for breast cancer patients, be sure to subscribe to Breast Cancer Answers here and leave your own questions in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer your questions in future videos. Finally, we'd like to thank our sponsor, Breast Cancer Index. To find out more about your treatment beyond year five, just click the button and download our free list of 15 questions to go through with your doctor.